right, guys, I've got another lock here from my waiting for the right tool bin. Um, and again, it's because we have a, an extremely recessed keyway. No way the Chinese lock pick will ever have gotten into that. And to make things just a little bit more interesting, this one actually has a spinner disc down inside of there. So the first disc is a spinner, and the second one is actually the tensioner. So I'm not even sure. Well, let's go ahead and show you. It does work. Here's what the key looks like. Brand new lock. Never been outside. Never been used to lock up a bicycle. Uh, you can see how that works. When I lock it, I think you can see the little locking shackle pop out, pop in. So pretty cool. Got a square cut out on here. And trying to do this through the camera. Of course, it also explains why I have no children. There we go. All right, super. Let's go ahead and line up those discs. I'm going to turn them all clockwise to give me a little bit of access in there. Give me half a chance of sliding that tool in. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. Because there are two discs, if I do what I normally do and do it like this, line him up, get up there, get up there, I'm trying to do this one-handed. What will happen is that tensioner part will get caught between the spinner disc and the first disc. So this one is a little bit different. I'm going to try to slide him all the way in first, just to make sure he's absolutely clear. And then slide this guy down. It does engage, but it's right on the limit, I have to say. I'm going to hold him like, probably like this, because I bring him up one red hair in height, and you can see he slides off of that tensioner disc. So I'm just barely engaging it. I don't want to file on this tool because it, I've never run into this before. If I start seeing it more frequently, I'll cut another uh, another tip for this. But I think I can force him down and turn him at the same time and tension him. And let's try it like this. All right. Since I'm already at the bottom, let me zoom in a little bit. All right, here we go. I think it's at or near the bottom. So... There's one. Binder, little click. I'm going to leave him. I think that's the gate. These discs in this lock are very thin. Oop, I do not have an open. My tensioner lost its engagement with that tensioning disc. These discs in here are super thin. Okay, what's the deal? Okay, again, that's not an open. I've lost the engagement. This is not ideal. Come on. Most of what you saw was just strictly bad positioning on my part. Those discs are very thin. I'm going to leave him alone. Oops, he fell off. Leave him alone. Come on.
All right, there was the binder. Who didn't you know it? The last one you check. I would say these discs in this thing are not a lot wider than the tip of this pig. It's very precise placements required. See how that kept slipping off there? I'm going to go with that. That one was pretty crunchy. He's still free. He's still pretty free, let's put him back. All right, now I'm tightening up on the tension a little. There we go, I think we got, no? There we go, we do have an open. I thought the tensioner fell out again. The toughest part of this lock, I gotta say, was uh, keeping the tension because it didn't allow me, give me that, come out of there. It didn't allow me to put a lot of tension on the tensioner with my fingers on these bars. So I had to kind of tension it, and I kept pulling down, trying to force that into the uh, tensioner disc. This needs to be just a hair longer, but again, I've never run into this before, so I'm definitely not going to be modifying this tool anytime soon. Anyway, guys, there you go. The Oxford HD lock. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. If you like the idea of growing the LockSport community, please consider supporting the Lock Lab by either becoming a Patreon or clicking the join button below.